let's think about this. So, you have pay to win on this side, and then you have free free play on this side. So, when you're in pay to win, it'll probably only take about 25 games to be able to unlock new character. And then if you're doing free, it'll probably take 50 to 100 games to unlock the new character. That's obviously fine. They get more playtime out of that game. And people will probably start getting fed up at probably the fucking 40th game and go, yeah, fuck it, I'm paying for the rest of it. Obviously, on this side, they're going to have mythic tier skins. And this side, they're just going to have nothing. Which is a little bit unfair because obviously this side won't get the mythic skins. They'll be a little bit annoyed. It's because they'll see people going around with the mythic skins who are a bit more privileged than them. And then they'll, they'll, they'll go, why can't I have that too? So it'll kind of be like a big divide. Uh, obviously skins aren't that big of a deal. What is the big deal is the actual characters themselves. So here we see three of the new characters. These are the new characters. And then on here, these are the old characters. So, we have the new characters and the old characters. So on a pay to win side, they will have more new characters than old characters. And the new characters at the beginning will be massively overpowered so they will be reigning king and then on this side there'll probably be one new character and the rest of them will be fucked because they're all playing the old characters and the old characters aren't that powerful against the new characters obviously this is just an assumption this isn't actually what i think is going to happen because they've obviously probably got some way to balance it which will probably be the new characters obviously they will be nerfed for the free so this one will probably be a bit fucking scrapped um but main problem is since it's since you get a nerfed version of the character if you play the free version yeah, exactly. Because the thing is, if they've got the free version, there will be nerfed characters. This is a big fucking no. On this side, they'll have... Yeah, they would make fucking loads from Overwatch 2 if they just had it free to play with some payable content. Like, hey, if you want to play this version of Ranked where you've got the new characters, then do that. If you want to play this version of Ranked, where you have old characters, then do that. And then both of the Ranked's gameplay links in. So you can pay to have the new version of Ranked, and then you have it just kind of like a split. So it would kind of work like... Fuck, like... File... Shit. Don't save. Yeah, exactly. So, have normal, so put in purple, have normal ranked, then A, like 10 bucks, get upgraded, upgraded. I'm really not good at this. <laughs> New characters. Yeah. It would actually. It would stop bots and would stop hackers. So if you pay, pay for the premium. Let, let's say you pay for the premium and you get 60. Like 60 days. You get. Two. Pumps. Two months worth. Okay, ten dollars. Two months worth of premium comp. And then think about that. In the space of twelve months, we'd be making a grand total 
of 120 no wait, no 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 50 dollars so you'd be making 50 dollars a year per player and if we think about how many people are going to be playing overwatch 2 at the beginning it will probably be a few million there will probably be a few million playing so let's let's have a look at how many people are playing overwatch uh, overwatch 1 at the moment Right, so there are 10 million total players. So 10 million times by 50. Five hundred That's better. Million times by fifty. Five hundred mil. And then also extra sales on skins. So let's say that you've got some new mythic skins and you have a a Fortnite type uh a Fortnite type system where you pay for a certain amount of currency and then you get to pay for the skins. So let's say that a mythic skin would be Legendary, so since they're getting rid of loot boxes, there will be new legendary skins, there will be new mythic skins. So let's say that a legendary skin costs. So legendary costs 1,000, 5,000 credits. And then a mythic costs 5,000. Wait, no, no, no. All mythics cost 10,000 credits. That would make a lot of money too. Since there will be less mythic skins, there will obviously be a lot of legendary skins that come out. But think about it. Let's say that per 1,000 credits costs... How does Fortnite do it? Right, seven ninety nine for a thousand V bucks. So let's say that Overwatch does around about five dollars for a thousand V bucks. No, well, not V bucks, but points. So Alright, uh, how many Overwatch skins gets released, like, per year? I don't know. But, let's say that they earn, like, another... Pretty much, if they have this system, they'd be earning a lot more. Because people won't want to pay for a battle pass. So, I mean, if Overwatch watches this, because I'm going to put this up on YouTube, this is the way that you make your money, and this is the way that you make it better. Yeah, 20 to 30 skins per year. And then there'll be top up of mythic skins as well. There'll probably be like 10 mythic skins per year. Or maybe even more than that, like 20 mythic skins per year. Think about that. Think about how much money Overwatch will be making. Millions. From just making a currency system and then separate ranked systems, which will also di diverse the hackers and the real players. And the bots it will split hackers and bots from real players and if real players are really that sad to risk their money to get fucking kicked out of a premium ranked version of the game then it's their own fault but 
overall that's my opinion so i'm gonna end stream there because it's getting late so cheers for watching see you in the next one